simple Simon bend, the simple Simon bend under, the simple Simon bend over, or the double crossed Simon bend. That's what we're going to have a look at today. And basically, it's the simple Simon bend, um, but a couple of variations on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, yes, in today's little video, three knots, which are all almost the same for the price of one. So anyway, one and the idea of this particular knot is this knot is great if a sheep bend, if you're using a sheep bend and a sheep bend won't suffice, this particular knot, the top one here, which is just the basic simple Simon bend, which is over, and you'll see that as we go along, this is just a little bit more secure than the sheet bend itself. And also the other good thing about the simple Simon bend is if you have slippery, stiff, synthetic ropes, this is a great way of joining two ropes together. Um, underneath here we have what's known as the doubled, sorry, the double crossed Simon bend. And it is a extended variation on the top one here but if you what what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you three different ways of tying this one particular knot and you'll see that as we go along so anyway oh and also the other thing is if you've used this particular knot in anger please do leave me a comment down below and if you want any more information on this knot itself there will be additional information in the description. And so without further ado, let's get on and let's get knotting. So in front of me, here are the two ropes that we want to join together. And the first thing I do is get hold of one rope and form a bite in that rope. There you go, there's my bite. The next thing that I'm going to do is I take the working end of my yellow one and I pass it down through that bite. And then the next thing I do is get hold of that working end again. And I want to pull a little bit through because it is not too cord hungry, but slightly cord hungry. And I'm going to wrap it around. So it's now it's coming down through the bite there itself, underneath the red one. I then want to wrap it around, take it over the top of both my red leads there, bring it round the back, bring it round the back. I'm gonna to need to take a bit more through. You can adjust it as you go along, take a bit more through. And then once I've gone around the back, I take it over itself again. And then I now, now that I've gone over itself, over the two red ones there, I bring it down up through the bite of the red one there, and then just gently pull up on it tight and you can see now as I pull up on it tight it's crossing over at this point here and this is known as the over because this working end, end here if I actually move it is passing over the yellow one at this point here and so this this version is a little bit less secure than the next one that we're going to do. So let's just untie this and I'll show you the under version. So this is the sim that was the simple Simon over version. This now is the simple Simon under version. So once again, we have a bite here in my red cord. I take my yellow cord, I pass it down underneath, then I bring it bring some excess through because we need a little bit on this, then take it round over both of the cords there, around the back, and then this time, in the on the last one, I took this working end, yellow working end, over itself at this point here, but in the simple Simon Bend under method, we pass it underneath itself, so we're crossing over underneath at this point here, and once again, you can adjust it and pull through the amount you require. Once you have the amount you want through, we then take it around the back again and pass it up through the bite of the red one there and then pull it up tight. And this time you can see now here that the working end is held 
more secure in position at this point here because as we pull on the standing end it's crushing down or squeezing the working end of this one here and so therefore it just makes it that little bit more secure and then we can pull it up really really tight and I'm jamming it up here and that is the simple Simon bend under method so in other words the working end is going under itself at that point here so let's undo this one here now and whilst I'm undoing that let's pause for a sec some people say I talk too much in my videos so the last thing I wanted you to do was watch me untying a piece of cordage right so once again in this particular case we're going to do the double crossed Simon bend and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take hold of my red lead here and put a bite into my red lead there so what I've done is I've formed a bite at this end here and the next thing that I'm going to do is take the working end of my yellow one and we want a fair bit for this it's slightly more cord hungry this one and I'm going to pass the yellow end down through the bite so just take it through the bite pull a little bit of excess through and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to pass it over both the strands at this point here and then take it down underneath there we go and now that I've taken it down underneath the next thing I want to do is I'm going to pass it over the red one again and then bring it around underneath everything at this point here just get the tank the bits of tangles out and then once I've done that I want to then bring it over everything again and then pass it up through the bite of the red one at this point here and then start pulling through until it all nicely tightens up and as you can see now here what we've done is in effect we have now put more turns around our red cordage here and you can see then it's crossing over at this point here and if I turn it over you can see that it's also crossing over at the bottom there and what we can do is just bunch that up a bit pull it up so that it all comes up nice and tight up against it and then that is a really nice secure double cross Simon bend so in other words it's a little bit, bit more secure than the previous ones and like I said before it's a great little way of joining two slippery synthetic cords and especially if the if you are at cords or ropes and if your rope isn't very bendy you know what I mean you do get some horrible ropes out there this one will actually cause it it'll strangle itself around the rope and lock it nicely in position and then when we pull on this now you can see because of these crossing points here it's pulling up nice snug and tight so anyway that is our simple Simon bend over simple Simon bend under and the double crossed Simon bend so once again thanks very much for watching if you enjoyed it yay give me one of these and if you hated it give me one of them but please do leave me a comment down below and tell me your experiences with this knot or any other knot and I promise you I will answer you take care then bye bye